boys, my name is Kleyoshi and welcome back to my blind playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 for uh, with the Japanese voices enabled. In the last video we completed our first hero class and got Silver Coat Ethel as our teammate here. We did that and we had the skill gifted to Noah and now in interest of actually wanting to do some other setups we are gonna be um, trying to learn some class skills on the other characters but also help the other characters learn the class so yeah we're gonna be just running around and doing some monster encounters with Ethel and our party I know Snow is kind of far behind in class experience, so we're trying to get him more stuff. We kind of mess up ass exams in this part. Let's just say that. やり方はないけど、この道を塞ぐなら。ちゃっちゃと終わらせようぜ。ラストエッジ。あ、もう。ちゃっちゃと終わらせようぜ。ちゃっちゃと終わらせようぜ。ラストエッジ。ちゃっ
It's also technically easier to farm right now. The reason why we're starting to kill enemies again, because Cult Ethel makes short work of most of these enemies. Starting with accuracy down is actually kind of important. Right. Okay, now we can to get out the enemies will help our rank go up a bit quicker so I figure let's try and do that a bit more Okay, there's one spy in particular I didn't do up here. Let's try and get up there now. Let's try to explore stuff. It's also a good time to take out any of these monsters that might be in our way. It's while I have Ethel in the party, it's gonna be a lot easier. Oh, we got. Ooh. I didn't see if we got the smash there, but. Looks like uh, first. I think he died before we were actually able to get that off. Either that or he killed them. Anyway. There's one particular part we haven't explored yet, so we're gonna try and explore that now. Since we didn't get to explore it before. We probably won't be able to go any further though, because of some strong monsters potentially. But we'll still try to explore as much as we can. Oh wow, there's quite a few things we found here. We found an Ether channel. Always useful, those ether channels. Yeah, I am ignoring some gray alleys, because although I, you can take them out really fast, they don't really give that much in terms of overall value. Unless you try to take out multiple of them like this. You know, like, let's just use the interlink, but for the purpose of AoE. Oh, we almost got it, too. Yeah. 
Alright, figure we could get that done a bit faster or we just take them out all at once since they're already pretty easy to take out. If you're wondering why I'm using Ellie Noah here, it's simply because he has the lowest uh, skill points right now, and we're trying to get his skill up. So that way we can start using Fencher again. It's gonna be kind of risky having only one healer, but what can you do sometimes? I guess we do have an extra attack now. Yeah. And by the way, the interlink thing for break all only works if you have the break at level 3, which means you need to be basically in battle for a long time before it'll even work at all. I'm like, dang, there's lots of chests in this one area. Holy crap, this place is filled with chests. Good grief. Here I thought this area is already big enough. <laughs> Good grief. They're, it's a lot more bigger than I thought. When I noticed, there seems to be a spot we could maybe climb up from here. So we're going to climb up here and see. Can't just get up here. Just say. Ah, uh, no. Okay, never mind. We can't get up from there. But we can get up from slightly further away. Yeah. We're not going to actually go up to there though because we did explore that part before. I think we'll just go right here instead. Let's take out this here for some more speaking points. That fire belly of a ticker is really valuable. Our bones from what I found out.
Let's see what's going on right now with Franks. I don't think I can even teach the rank and type mm, to others, and it seems like Ipple's not really an FPS out much in the ever so. Still, there's a reason to have her anyway. That's a bit more of a tough rank. Then he gets good special points. Some might say we're doing a little bit of overgrind, but others will probably say that we're just doing this specifically to grind up our classes. I will say this area is quite open and wide, so it takes quite a bit to explore all of it. I think we actually went up there before, so we're just gonna try and get up here. That's why I thought we can't come out this way, but we can go through this way. And he has to go here that we missed. This is mostly to get containers we missed and also to get other stuff and I just realized we probably will be able to access some of the other areas but only after other stuff. Anyways, I got some decent money from that. Sorry if this is taking a little bit to say, but... It is what it is. Honestly, I might have abused by the way. For some reason, we can't travel to Benno Cave. But we can travel to, like, Rosento Camp. Which is really weird. Uh... I'm trying to think right now, is there an airplace I can answer? Oh, I guess we could go back to one of the our older regions. Ooh, actually we can come back here. Okay, so we can't go anywhere in Colony 9 or any of the other stuff. Before a post camp we can go to, and that's actually really close to level 20 area. We're gonna go there instead, actually. This will give us a reason to actually go around and do stuff. We can also go into the area around the side area, because we still haven't gotten that blue chain I am. Again, uh, we need those, but those can be found from the central area. Ooh, we got... Alright, let's uh, immediately discuss this information. So you guys know those supply drops we've been seeing now and again? Yeah, what about them? Colonies we freed from their clocks. Can't request supplies, can they? No, that wouldn't make any sense. The drops are aid from one of the castles or neighboring friendlies. Even if one of the liberated colonies did file requests, nobody has a duty to honor it. Means whatever we see supplies to drop, there must be a colony of troops we haven't freed yet. 
Yeah, there's a good chance we'll counter enemy in those areas. Yeah, indeed. Survey a supply drop, we have to remain vigilant. But those containers have stuff we'll need them um, as well, am I right? If we can get our hands on them, I say we should, even with... If us being enemies and all. So, so just discussing those gives you experience points. But anyway... True... So now we're finally able to go into this area. You probably remember this from the start of the game. There were some really strong enemies here we couldn't pick up before. Now we can take them out, no problem. Another reason why I chose not to remove Ethel right away because I wanted to be able to do extra stuff. Now, we're gonna need to take out this unique monster to get any further, but first, we're gonna try to alert all of its henchmen out first for extra experience and also to make it so that we don't have to deal with it later. Because then I'll be here. If we go on an exit, we're gonna run away. Honestly, they don't really take that long to kill, and are worth a lot more experience points than the other enemies right now. So, yeah, that's really useful. Actually, I'm gonna try and winch my right way into here instead and lure them to this spot. There's Runny away now, some of the enemies do have a little bit of a disadvantage in their own way, like, what I mean by that, and what I mean by that, I mean like they legit uh, can't target us from a certain distance. Do other stuff. By the way, these guys are a lot more experienced than ever in Hunting and Hellfold because they are like higher and yet they take all the stresses on to kill those enemies that are showing up there so I think these enemies are more valuable for experience so... We're not gonna overfind of course but we are gonna come here for the unique monster kill. I mention it because I'm doing everything, I may as well take out every unique monster I can find. I might not actually end up taking all of them out, but we'll try our best to get as many of them as possible. So yeah, I was taking out this guy's chin. The unique monster will be all alone. A unique monster should be a lot easier with Ethel in the party. Another reason why I'm choosing to do it now instead of later is if we do it when we don't have a healer, you know, it becomes a lot more difficult. Alright. And here we go. Okay, he has a little bit of AoE, so we need to position ourselves to knock it if, uh, Looking at the line to see where we go. We can go. My hope is that FL is going to carry most of the damage. We have two uh, unisons going on at the same time. Yeah. 
No, there is always such a thing of running away. Let's uh run away. Don't look like we uh got lucky enough there. Big AoE that took out three of Evers didn't really help out. So we're gonna try this again. This time we're gonna, we're gonna start with this. Wait for uh, no other places rain ideally. Not then, I'll just move him closer. We'll place the rain and then use this to uh, hopefully do some damage with our Ashel earlier. Actually, I feel like I should have put this in all the time. Okay, now we'll get out so that our uh, can heal our team. That was the move that took us out before. Let's chain attack now. Let's do this.
Okay, that heroic chain really helps out a lot. And instantly gets our tactic and points out. We did a lot. Cool, that that did that did a lot. We did a lot of damage there. That probably saved most of the run there. I didn't know chain attacks could be that overpowered. So look to sell, when using heroes, chain attacks can get very overpowered to the point where it just becomes very busted. Uh, I don't want to mess things up, so... Cena's getting really low, so we're gonna actually use her interlink. So she doesn't die. We're gonna start by using this. There we go. It also just helps us finish off the battle. And there we go. That's quite a bit of a fight there. It was fun. Got some items and got some much dead skill points. Let's see what everyone's looking at now. We have a lot more skill points on all of our answers now. Oh, I guess one other thing we could have done is should have looked at it first. We need to, to look in. Um, who's this guy? We could also have technically uh, done this a bit more. You can technically get a lot more experience. So I didn't know this, but you can actually do this more than once. So yeah, you can just spam these once you actually get the materials for them. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I just realized I already did do Alice's one, I think. Who knows? Okay, we can't go to any of the beginner areas, but we can go here for some reason. Oh, there is a different quest arc over here I didn't even notice. Wow, okay, never mind. So I guess there is stuff. More stuff to do than I initially thought.
I wonder... I, I, I think there would probably be just a barricade or some invisible barricade that blocks you from going back to Colony 9 until you actually fit stuck with them. Oh, he tell oh wow, okay, so he even tells us, let's head in a different direction. It's too dangerous to have that holidays right now. <laughs> Anyways, I think that was worth it. I let's let's be honest, the only reason I was doing that extra thing was just so that we can um, you know, get um more stuff done and not only discover more spots, but also find Ooh. Oh, there's a point of interest here I didn't notice. Let's uh, try to this name grave and see if we can't just, like, skip all the way to that. Because we were given a point of interest somewhere here, and we're going to try and actually go there. Yeah, there's lots of random stuff you can explore and do, so doing 100% will probably take a long time. But, again, I want to make... You, this video may as well be known as the Ethel Does Stuff video because, well, Ethel's only in our party for a little while, so I thought may as well give her an opportunity to actually battle. And what better way to do that than having her help uh, assist us with a unique monster takedown? And I will say, being a hero in our party we makes those unique monsters so much easier to take down. It's much less frustrating than if you had just done it normally. There's this big spot in the middle we didn't go to yet. Whoa! It's like a... Oh, okay, that's... I think that's... Okay, we found a location here that we've never seen before. Dang, look at this. There's so many, uh... Much stuff to explore around this area. And we even found a... Uh, slot over here that we can get there, but we'll have to defeat this elite to get it. Not like that's gonna be a big problem. We out level it by seven levels. That's probably gonna die very quickly. I did test a little bit of hard mode, but yes, it is very difficult. Some fights just require a lot more skill with it, and also you're required to do all the stuff. I bet you when you get to six characters, it'll become more balanced again, but for now, it's really difficult. Alright. Oh, there is another um, container here we missed as well, so we'll go ahead and get that as well. First, we have to take out this uh, elite in the way again. We're gonna do the somewhat speedrun strategy. Because we're gonna put our attack up and then just kind of go to town. Right. <laughs> oh, these these Agnes guys are there that I didn't even see before. Jesus. 
Sorry for not like advancing a storyline a lot, but I am trying really hard to see if my characters can learn their skills. But from the looks of it, I, I guess there was a reason to still include Apple in the party though. If you're wondering why I used that in the episodes, because uh, there was still some stuff that could do with Apple and I figured I could as well do it showing off her powers and that's what I did here. Jeez, that leap didn't even last more than like a minute or two. He died really quickly. Keep in mind to give three times the usual experience and whatnot whenever they are defeated. So There's a reason to keep on killing them. Right. Well, that was one of our soldiers. So I'm calling for. Okay. Good. We got array up even higher now. Yep. I'm sorry if I wait a little while to have Ethel because. Well, but I was seeing if she could teach her special class to some other characters, but doesn't look like that's the case, so I think now's the time to get rid of stuff. Also, I need to check the accessories. We haven't done so in a while. We have a Crisis Clap Aptitude. I have no idea what that does. So we're gonna... Uh, so you know what? We're gonna freaking put it on. Try to learn what it does from there. Already having such an easy battle time anyways, it's not like we need that specific I am. Boost damage dealt to high level enemies, that's really good. Assault snow, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boost auto attack damage by 83%. That is actually very good for some classes. But a class like the buffing Whatever, tat, whatever. A uh, class like uh, Ethel's, that is very overpowered. We're probably gonna give that to Noah whenever he starts using that class, because he does so many auto attacks. Like, that that kind of skill is really good on a narrator that does auto attacks. <laughs> We've already defeated these enemies before, I think. We're just gonna run away. I thought that soldier was a uh, host that we can actually send off, but apparently not. Oh, we still need to do that thing. Oh yeah, we were... I forgot we were trying to get to that point of interest. Let's just uh, travel to that next. Um, also see about that Ferran assault, man. Who knows? Oh, wait. Oh, this is one of the ladders that you completely forgot about. Oh. I almost forgot about this. Alright. Oh, there's a reason to put this up. You've seen something like that before, though, so we're gonna just skip the event. 
You don't really miss much. We've seen that. Made us do that, like, quite a bit already. And fast travel back to this. And head back and pick up another chest. And then... I'll just add this video. To be fair, we did something in this video. We did defeat that unique monster, but... I think after this, uh, it'll probably be a good time to actually save. Anyway. Sing Bray's Funnel. We're not gonna level up because we don't really need it right now. I will say... Oh, this is a quest. I was wondering about how you get quest. Something bother you, know? Your brow is awfully furled. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was making a face. Is there something on your mind? Yeah, it's nothing too important, though. Oh, really? Sure you're not remembering that thing about those husks? Oh, yeah, that has to be it. <sighs> Am I really that easy to read? We know each other for so long. Of course we can read your mind by now. Talk about the husks that were left here. Scene three's final place. Dangerous to send them off. They're right inside monster territory. Is it really bothering you that much? To be honest, I don't think I could let it go. At the same time, though, it feels wrong to put everyone in danger just because I'm feeling uneasy. Holy bat, Clay, that isn't you. We'd rather you just ask us straight up. Anyways, not like anyone here be would object to sending off the husk. Of course not. I've been in favor from it from the start. Right, we have to give them a proper send-off. Though I'm here, you're the officers here. You should make the judgment call. I'm sorry, Marilyn. Uh, no, scratch that. Thank you for going along with me on this. Alright. So we were able to find this hidden quest there. So good to know that the information also leads to hidden quest. Imagine if I had just sped run through this even faster. I could have maybe not found that. And also, I've never tried this food heating thing yet, or order food, so we're gonna actually do that. So, this one, okay, this one boosts the enemy goal. Let's just order this. Why not? So we can at least see the animation. And, oh, okay, all right, so I guess there was a reason for that. So now we learned a new recipe from that called Perfuffle Twilight Lap, so we need to order food around each of the different areas now. As if we didn't have a lot of things to remember already. <laughs> now we have even more to remember, but it is what it is. Zeal Blade games are just like that. They just make you do a lot of side stuff. <laughs> it is what it is, but... Anyway, now we are gonna um, quickly find out about this air like thing. Some of the stuff just gives you bonus experience, which is still decent, all things considered. Like, it's still er somewhat early on in RPG, we still need some arrow experiences. Anyway, yeah, I did do some more research and just a little bit of a warning, maybe not, so I don't know. The chapters are, there's actually a lot less of them than before, but they have a lot more storyline packed into them, so it's kind of a balance out. Anyways, we'll discuss this for Honest Hulks. It seems Milk Metals isn't the only place we've arrested out for Honest, huh? Yeah, if I had to guess, I see they're scattered all over Ionis, which bothers me how totaled they all are. Surely that can't be standard practice, right? 
Paralysis come in different frame cut lengths. If they aren't used to their strengths, the defeat can be crushing. Achieval and transpiration of Uranus also comes with cost. Leaving it to rot on the field can sometimes be simplest. And then it turns into a monster breeding ground. Man, that makes my blood boil a bit. But even abandoned, they can obtain a wealth of supplies. I think they'll prove you so, Andre. For sure. If we see one anyway, we should make an effort to check it out. Okay. Well, I didn't actually do much, except for bonus experience. Also, we never really showed off the save feature. It's not really that much different, though. You just... It's just the regular save, but not a save point. One of these points instead. There. I showed how that worked. I think it's about time we continue on with the storyline now in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, cut right, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.